Hi. Okay, hello people. Good evening. Good evening, Saul. Welcome one more time for another class with Inglés Corporativo. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. We have Hector, Ricardo, and Kenya right now. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's get it started with tonight's class. This here. Okay. Things. Okay, last night we started talking about the simple past or the past form of verb B. Yeah. So we started this yep. affirmative statements and negative statements with mm -hmm. was or yes, were. Okay. Exactly. So, and we had an exercise to do that I want to check with you. Okay. Okay. This is the exercise I asked you to do. with was or where. So let's get started tonight checking this exercise. Okay. Uh -huh. The first section says complete the sentences using was or where. Where, mm -hmm. Okay, Hector, can you read me the Number one. She was very pretty. Excellent. Ricardo, number two. They were at the school. Excellent. Kenya. Kenya. Hello. Hi, teacher, sorry. Uh, oh, hello. Can you read number three? Mm, tengo que agregarle una palabra, ¿verdad? Yes, was or where. 
He was at home last night. Excellent. Claudia, number four. Uh, I was very naughty. Naughty, yeah, naughty. No. Yeah, very naughty. Okay. One more time, Hector, number five. We were in London last week. Yes. Ricardo, number six. They were good friends. Excellent. Kenya, number seven. It was sunny yesterday. yesterday. Excellent. Claudia, number eight. I was at the cinema yesterday. Excellent. Very good. Okay, you're great on this. Now, let's see. This one. No, oh, too much, too much. Okay, in this exercise says put these sentences into negative form. I was John's wife. Negative, Hector? Hello? Hector? No, oh, he's gone. No, oh, there he is. Okay. What about Ricardo? Number one, this Ricardo? I wasn't John's wife. Okay, very good. Kenya, number two. Um, my grandparents went. Well, mm -hmm. Excellent. Claudia, number three. Susan wasn't a fat girl. Excellent. Hector, number four. Your microphone, Hector. No, we can hear you. Okay. Um, now, my hair wasn't short. My hair wasn't short. Excellent. Very good. Now let's move here to the questions. Um, for example, number one: Was Mary a singer? Yeah. Number two, Claudia. Was the door open? Excellent. Number three, Ricardo. Sería <coughs> <coughs> was your sister a nurse? Yes, perfect. No square. No, because your sister is she. Uh, is she. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the subject is your sister. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Um, Kenya, number four. Was the boys at home? Mm -hmm. Where? Where? Yeah. Where the boys? Yes. Where, where the boys at home? Okay, because this is plural, boys. Boys. Hector, number five. Was you at the cinema? Was or where? Were you? Yes. Were you at the cinema? Were you at the cinema? Okay. Number six, Ricardo. Was the book interesting? Yes. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. Interesting. The stress is here. Interesting. 
Yeah. Okay, number seven. No, 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 uh, Number seven. Who? Uh, Kenya? Was. Was? Yes. Was your father an actor? Excellent. Was your father, okay? He. And uh, Claudia? Was Number... your father? Wait. Repeat. Was your parent happy? Hmm. Where? Ah, plural. Uh, yes. Was your parents happy? Yeah, plural, parents. Okay, very good. And this was the last section was about responding the question. <laughs> Uh, was Mr. Smith a mechanic? What is the answer? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Okay. Were you ill? No, I wasn't. No. Way. no. Uh -huh. Yes. Were you ill? You respond, no, I wasn't. Number three, was I right? Yes, I was. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. Yeah. Okay. Yo le estoy preguntando a alguien más. Was I right? Mm -hmm. Y la otra persona me responde. Yes, you were. Yeah. <laughs> Number four. Was your father at home? No, he wasn't. Okay. Yeah. Five. Was it expensive? Yes, I wasn't. It was. It yes? Was. It was. It was. It was. It, it was. Number six. Was your mother a doctor? Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Okay. Were the children naughty? No. No, they weren't. They were no, he he weren't. Children. Children. Oh, okay. uh, mm-hmm. Plural. No, no, they weren't. No, they, no, they, no, they, weren't. they weren't. Yes. Was Shayla angry? No. No, she wasn't. She wasn't. Mm -hmm. Was I tall? Yes, I was. Yes, yes I was. you were. No, yes, you yes, were. Yes, I was. Ah. Yes. <laughs> no, yes, you yes. were. Yes, you <laughs> were. Yes, you were. Uh huh. Sería, yes, I was, si yo me estoy preguntando y yo mismo me respondo. Uh -huh. Pero usualmente le pregunto a alguien más. Y el otro me responde. Yes, you were. Okay, people, any question with this activity? No. No. Very good. Okay, because... Now, now we already did this. Okay. I think there is a video to to practice to learn about the questions. Let me find the video. Okay, I, I'm going to play this video. It's about questions. We saw this quickly last night, but let's take a look to this video. It is about questions with was and where. Okay, I'm going to mute your microphones for a moment to watch the video. Okay. Observe. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of B. 
Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark. Born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, so we have here the questions. Yeah, with was or where. I have something for you to practice. Okay, can you see this chart? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay, I we are going to work on with, with this to uh, make questions and respond questions. Okay, with real information. For example, the topic is when I was a child. Okay, do you remember when you were a child? Yes. yes. Ah, yes. Okay, you are you. Uh-huh, you are not too old. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, first teacher. The question is, who was your first teacher? The answer, my first teacher was Miss Gloria Lemus. First school. What was your first school? My first school was Parroquial Santa Ana. This is me, okay? Then, first boyfriend or girlfriend? You have to complete the question. A 
and then respond the question with real information. Number four, favorite cartoon. Okay. Do you know what I mean with cartoon? Yes, yes, sir. Yes? Okay. Favorite toy? Yeah? Yes, sir. First house? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And the question with where? Last piñata? Best friend? First pet? And favorite movie, when you were a child. Not last year, no, when you were child. Okay? So I will give you like 10 minutes to respond to complete this individually. Okay, you complete the question and respond the question with your personal real information. Okay. When you finish that, I will give you 10 minutes. Then I'm going to put you in pairs to practice asking the questions each other. Okay? You are going to ask your partner, hey, who was your first teacher? And the other respond, oh, my first teacher was this and this and that. Okay? Okay. So first I will give you 10 minutes to respond for you, personal information. Let's do it. Okay, go ahead, work. No. Okay. 
Okay, did you finish? Did you finish? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, the rest? Yes. Good, very good. Kenya, Yamile, Daraceli, Ricardo, Lino. Yes. I finished. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to put you in groups to 
um, practice. So what are you gonna do is to practice the questions and answers. Um, well. For example, if I ask, just to show you. Okay, let me ask Claudia. Okay. Who was your first teacher? Uh, my teacher uh, was um, Miss um, Castro. Miss Castro. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, good. And what was your first school, Claudia? My first school was um, Texas Tepeque, Santa Ana. Ah, okay. So, and then now you ask me, Claudia. Okay. Um, who was your first boyfriend, uh, girlfriend? Who? Oh, okay. Uh, I, I'm going to say it yeah, softly so my <laughs> wife can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> my first girlfriend was Ana Maria. <laughs> Are you yeah, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. And one more? Next, next. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was your favorite favorite cartoon? Oh, when I was a child, my favorite cartoon, it was um, maybe the Thundercats. Oh, that's good. Um, Thundercats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was your favorite toy? Who my favorite toy? It was a little, a little truck. It was a red uh, little truck. He's a, a Tonka truck. So that was my favorite toy. Okay, so that is what you're gonna do, okay? Practice asking questions each other. Okay. So let's form small groups to work that way. Um, um, how many sessions? Three, four sessions. Okay, join the groups and practice, please. Hola. Hola, Hola. Lizette. Hola. Hello. Sí, Hola, me escucha. Solo las dos estamos, ¿verdad? Sí, hoy sí. Yes. No anoté las dos primeras preguntas. Eh, comenzamos con la primera. Who was fit boyfriend? The first, the first question is, eh, ¿qué was your first? First teacher. Teacher. My first teacher was uh, Guido Rivas. Okay. Uh, you can go one and one. One and one. Ah, okay. Your turn, Araceli. Como le decía, no tengo las dos primeras. Voy a voy a preguntarle la tercera. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Who was first boyfriend? <laughs> Sí, ni lo está moviendo. No, pero me están oyendo. Oh, 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 oh. Only secret. Ok. My first boyfriend was Alice. 
Okay. Okay. Keep working. Okay. See you later. Okay. Hey, Araceli, what was your favorite cartoon? My. <clears throat> That little woman. Okay. Oh, inicio y ahora. Le hago las preguntas. Okay. okay. Eh, who was your first boy girl friend? I'm sorry. <laughs> My first girlfriend was Alejandra. Okay. Eh, what was your favorite cartoon? In my favorite. My favorite cartoon. My worst favorite cartoon is Bob Esponja. <laughs> when you were a child. Okay. Todavía, okay. todavía, todavía, niña. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. okay, very good. But you have to say, my favorite cartoon was. Mm -hmm. Ah, my favorite cartoon was. Well, it's wrong. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't remember when. The... <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what's what? your, your, your first pet? Uh, what's best friend? Best friend or first, first pet? Ah, yes, cierto. Who was your best friend? Sorry. My best friend was uh, Francisco Martinez. Okay. Who was the first pet? My first pet was a uh, dog. Dog, okay. Her, her, um, her, name, her, her name is Chispita. Chispita. Okay. <laughs> okay. And what was your favorite movie? When I was a child, my favorite movie the, the name is ah oh, really okay excellent okay what what was uh, who was but in this case is is uh, animal yes who no who is only people only uh -huh. thank you uh -huh. uh, yeah which which uh, which which was your first pet cuál fue su primer mascota my first pet was a dog. So, uh, okay, uh, just one thing. In this, in this question, it's better to use what, because what? yeah, what? which, which is when you give options. Okay. okay, we use which when you have two or three options. Okay, which. Uh, Shirt, do you prefer the red shirt or the black shirt? Okay. Okay, so it is better to use which when you give options. Okay. But in this case, is what is like when you ask what is your name? No, so we use what for that question. Okay. 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 See you later. Okay.
Okay, welcome back. It seems that some some secrets were filled here with this activity. <laughs> Hello, <yeah>. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. Let's continue then. Um, this is a short video for pronunciation. We're going to practice pronunciation and negative contractions. Okay. Let's. By the way, is uh, do you have any question about the activity? No? No. No, no. No? Was, okay, perfect. So let's take a look to this video then related to pronunciation of um, negative contractions. I'm going to mute your microphones for a moment. Hi everyone, in this class you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables. Isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Okay. So this is very simple, just practice the one syllable or two syllable contractions. Let's practice, okay? Repeat please, aren't. Aren't. Weren't. Weren't. Don't. 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 Can't. 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 Isn't. 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 Wasn't. 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 Doesn't. 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 Didn't. 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 Okay, now let's practice these sentences. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. They didn't eat they didn't dinner, eat dinner because, because they, they weren't, weren't hungry. hungry. Okay. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. I don't, I don't like, like coffee, coffee and she doesn't like it. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. Can't swim. Can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he, he isn't wasn't. here today. He, he wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. today. Okay, any question here, people? I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. What do you pronounce? Swim, switch. 
Swim suits. Swim suits. Swim suits. Okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is swimsuit? Uh, traje de baño. Exactly. And um, okay, this is the same. Okay, people, uh, I think we better stop here because next is a conversation and it's another topic that we won't have time to to do it tonight. So remember, you have to complete the exercises in the platform. You have mm -hmm. until Sunday, I think, in the calendar, yeah. Mm -hmm. The last day is Sunday 20, 23rd to finish the exercises on the platform. Okay, mm -hmm. remember that if you don't get the 80%, so you can repeat the exercise until you get at least minimum 80%. Okay? And um, okay. be careful, yeah, when you type, because for one letter uh, it's going to be incorrect for one period, or sometimes uh, people use uh, el la tilde y no el apóstrofe. Entonces ahí también se los da como incorrecto. En verdad, a veces son detallitos de esos los que, por los cuales. La, la oración está bien hecha, pero por un punto o una, o una apóstrofe mal puesta, sí. ¿verdad? Un signo de pregunta. Un signo de pregunta. Son detallitos, ¿verdad? Que hay que revisar para que esté correcto el ejercicio. ¿Ok? Ok, okay thank you. Ok, people. It was, it was nice to be with you tonight. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. You too. Take care.